Hi guys, I am Mr. Hart and I am Mrs. Hart and, and together, together we, we are The Hearts. With this ring, with this ring I wedded. Welcome to um, today's episode. Today is the first episode of Journey to Marriage. So um, we're excited. Um, are you excited? I am, yeah. Yeah, if you want to like maybe... I am, I'm just mellow today. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh-huh. Anyway, so today we are, it's the first episode. We're going to do a couple of episodes and we hope that this will be informative. We hope that it will be, um, what else? Uh, something that just eases your mind. Exactly. As a person who's thinking about marriage. Getting into marriage. Or, or you just got into a relationship and yeah. you're thinking about what, what are what the next? qualifications yeah. of getting married and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, so this is that's going to be the first episode, but I'm saying like generally, what do we hope to do? With the we hope to series? to. I keep going back to that is your mind. Mm. Uh, we hope to inform. Yeah, to inform you. To share to share our story so yeah. that you may have. We're not saying that the the best way to go about what we're about to share is how In we how do we it. Went but um, we just want to share our two cents. Yeah, we hope that this will ease your mind if you're planning to get married or something you're thinking about in the future. Or you just want to hear our story and yeah. laugh at us, cry with us. And, Do you yeah. think there's an episode where like, I'll well, cry? Of course you won't, but me, because I'm like, I have potential. I mean, well, if you get in touch with you, <laughs> it might that, just That yeah. would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, so start us off. All right. Um, so we're going to start off with talking about how, of course, before you get married, the first part of getting married is um, dating. Of course, you're in a relationship. You're in a relationship, or you're thinking about it. Uh, you haven't met that person, but you're like, I feel like um, there's this thing that girls always do. They're like, Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna date again until I find the perfect guy to marry. Yeah. So maybe you're also that. Yeah. Yeah. It should be the last. No more exes. Yeah, yeah, no more exes. So, uh, we're gonna start with talking about how dating was for us. Um, not exactly the details of dating, but yeah, now the okay. details of dating in relation to us getting married. Right. Go ahead. First of all, backstory. I I got married. I was twenty six when we got married. I am still twenty six. <laughs> you are twenty six. How old are you? I now? know I'm twenty six, but when we met, I was twenty four. Yes, but before that, before I even met anyone, I knew I wanted to get married at twenty six. That's just something I had casually, not yeah. even seriously. I casually just put a crest yeah. to my mom, to God. Just it was just my dad. Just that kind of thing is put. Yeah, you know. Side, yeah, yeah. Not it was a side note. Yeah. yeah, it was just like and a side note. Actually, that's similar to me. For yeah. for me, it was I wanted to get married at the age of thirty. Thirty. Yeah. So by the time Ethan and I were meeting, I I was not looking for to you know that period in your life where you've dated, now you're single and you're not searching you know and that's when we met at least that's the headspace i was in and i like i like that mm-hmm. i like that like where was your headspace before you met me you were really not searching i wasn't really like i was done like you know like you are saying girls uh, hey, yeah, I was girls. You was like girls. i was done with relationships i was like yeah i'm Check gonna put that that's on why you had, hold. you had all those Instagram hold, yeah. pages. let me tell you but then after the time she was doing all those um single Self-love. days <laughs> she was going so by the I stopped her and I was just like what? 2018 is the year and it's like God was just looking at me and saying must be the last one must be the last not that I can't go for self I mean they, like solo dates but mm-hmm. like that's the year I really worked on myself you know how you say let me work on myself first before I get did you actually it. say you were going to work on yourself or did you say let me just love on myself let me love on myself yeah. and I went ham like every month I had to do two things minimum that showed myself love you know whether it's going on a solo trip whether it's going on a solo debt whether it's been for myself extra things like i really went out in 2019 mm. so by the time i was meeting ethan even i didn't think at it oh my gosh it could be the one you know and i think yeah. i need to put across that that if you're single for example i don't think you should be in the space where you're always curious to Are find you yeah to be like yeah. Is he the one? Is he the one? Is it just is through like yeah, just chill, just chill, just like, get to know the person because yeah. I know 
personally I've been there. Yeah. Especially because before we actually started dating, mm-hmm. um, my pastor had told me that I will find the person that I'm supposed to marry in your work. In my place of work. Imagine even if Pasi told me yeah. that. So I was just like every and you know yeah, I just so, that that's, yeah. that was the time I was working at two oh, so you were, and, and you So every clients. girl that comes in, I'm just like <laughs> Could she? Yeah. Could she? Could she? Yeah, to Kisha connect TV. Maybe, maybe it's her. It's her maybe it's her. it's her. Until I got tired. Yeah. And I was like, no. It, yeah. You're not. I think for me, especially, and I won't lie, before that I wasn't working. So I wasn't. Miss Ju was telling me that I was Apparently I wasn't looking good enough. But when I started making money. <laughs> when I was empl- yeah, when I was employed. <laughs> Mother was on the hunt. Everywhere. Like girls Everywhere. are just yeah. out there, just. How like, hey, how it looks so cute. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that photo is so amazing. And then, 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 I'm just like, okay. Uh, mm. So men, there's something money. about you having money. money. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to be balling, but just the fact that you have money. Kind of like, uh, personally, uh, after, after I had that stage four, uh, could she be done, could she be done? I was tired. I was literally tired of dating. Uh, and I remember, even one day I was praying, maybe I'm never going to get married. Let me just live my life and enjoy myself. So, <laughs> this is a hard one to admit online. But, uh, For you, I know you have told you, but uh, I, was, I was really dating around. Oh. Yeah. Like I was really, I had, I was, yeah, I had like, at that, by the time Makina and I were talking, I had like, I was talking to other Five, we to like four me. other we chicks. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, if you give me your Can you attitude, my moods? I'll be gone. This is, I ain't got time. <laughs> I'm not gonna get married. And you know, but the funny thing is, even at the time when I thought that like I'd given up on love, I'd really I I'm in marriage, yeah, I hadn't really given up. Because each and every even of those four girls that I was talking to, I'd still gauge like who would be the one I would spend I'm curious, my life with. tell me offline who they were? No. Just tell me. No. Why? No. You tell me by then. Then no. Why? Then if I tell you now, tell whenever we meet with those people, we'll just be like, mm mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sure even me, they look at me like that. So, see, they know, but they probably don't. Yeah, but you won. They you probably don't. Anyway, yeah. actually, they, they actually don't. Yeah, because we, yeah. we were you are the only one who knows. Uh, that's out of them. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so we said how we met you guys. We've talked about it. Did we though? I feel like we have. Okay. So. So okay, let's. Finish. Okay, so the story goes like this. Mine okay, is the shorter version. It's long, baby. I May I cut it short? Like I'll like cut it short. I don't have to go through everything. Okay, not about me. So which makes sense, by the way. We actually, for me, we actually met where I was working, or rather in my work. Yeah. In my yeah, work, yeah? yeah. So I was shooting a friend of hers. They were planning to do a, a photo shoot together, um, which didn't happen. But she wanted to do a birthday shoot. Yeah. Yeah. So we started having a comment. Actually, the friend asked me if I remembered her. From the Easter, we used Don't to be in the Easter. No. I said no. I said no. <laughs> and then you know what? I actually went to the doctor. That's when I realized I was like, mm, no. You don't know her. No, yeah. I, no. I was like, that was the time I was like, I don't think I'll hit on you, oh, because I felt like you were too. Exp- I told you this. Oh. Like you were too bougie. Oh. Just that time she was doing that self love thing. I so think she we've was, done this video because it looks familiar. Yeah, like it sounds, it sounds familiar. familiar. Yeah. So no, I think we did it when we were talking about. The engagement part. Yeah, too. yeah, we did. Exactly. So I'm gonna link that video here, yeah. and you guys are gonna yeah, watch so it for context, mm-hmm. okay? Right. So um. So we start dating, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Um, well. For was, me, for sure, uh-huh. I knew like every relationship I got into, I had dreams of marrying that person. <laughs> not like, but I was like, I'm not dating for fun. Like initial, like from when I started dating, I was like, this one is ending up with marriage. So by the time now I was meeting Ethan and then of course <coughs> we didn't know we were getting we were going to date even and then yeah. finally now we decided for a long while we didn't know what we were doing. I know baby. No, like we knew we liked each other. Yeah. But we hadn't had yeah, we had. Yeah, excuse. 
a girl here was ready <laughs> yeah so that's the other thing like i feel like you should have you should get into a relationship with especially a relationship of course the end of it which is the beginning is marriage right yeah i believe that it's preferable for you to 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 date someone you know you want to go the long haul with yeah. because i mean for let's talk about about experience so not people here talking about like relationship as if we were the first date okay. um i had gone through so many relationships before mm-hmm. i got to makena and for me to get to even a place where i was just like i'm tired i was literally tired you know because i was just like ah, you date someone so you two months later and then you have to start talking to somebody else everybody got time <laughs> let me tell you guys side note very very side note <laughs> ifan and i were saying like we don't envy when people who are in the talking stage i'm sorry if you're in the talking stage yeah. but hang in there Aish. but you were just like huh talking stage has to be the longest most stretched stage as in that stage where you you're like hi good morning yeah Today, like see, oh uh, yeah so what are you up to mm, how was your day hey oh. i'm just like mm, 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 mm. talking stage is just i really like you thank you hey it's just but anyway more grace to you who is in the talking stage yeah yeah we mm. pray for grace and all the best all the best yeah. for real i hope this one is the one yeah <laughs> for real because that stage was just not it's a very long one and yeah. it's a hectic one because you're never sure hectic is the word yeah because they're never sure that you're spending spending time with this person will actually lead to that to some yeah yeah mm. but you know here's the interesting thing that where our minds were at well my mind was at even by the time we had started dating and i remember we had this conversation early in our relationship and i said let's not do this if we're not getting married you know let's if we're not planning to get married and you know let me tell you it doesn't assure you let's not lie it doesn't assure you that now so you're going to get married so many times in between you feel like ah, 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 i can't i cannot i can't yeah. but we were i liked the intentionality i liked yeah. that from the beginning we talked about it and we're like I, i'm too young for i mean i'm i'm not getting younger yeah so if we're doing this let's do it all the way yeah, yeah. another point to note intentionality yeah intentionality yeah. I feel like being intentional gives you direction like it gives you a linear view you know where you're going because there are so many things happening so like having like that intention of getting married at least we knew we wanted to get married yeah. and i think from there is when we were like when would we want to get married yeah so, like, how did we come to select the date <laughs> how, how did it come by uh, i don't know what's happening here Let me tell you in the middle this is what you call BTS in the middle I just anyway so how we picked the wedding date um we actually did elimination so yeah, we yeah it was by elimination so we were like we we picked out all the common months for weddings so December August April and Feb right it's like nope yeah and then also for me my birthday month was a no no i was like we're not that was the first no no by the way <laughs> we're not mixing with my birthday month and then we also removed july because of the weather and then we were left now with mostly we but let, let's just to be honest actually we think about it, wanted to do that exact two years no not yeah. really no that wasn't a factor i promise right. you yeah but because it was one year dating, one year <coughs> engaged. We started dating in October 26th. So when you asked me out. October, babe? Yeah. We started dating in June. No, but it's like, oh, but you remember that day when we were going home, then you asked yeah, me. Yeah, I remember yeah. that one. That was, was the official ask. But. Official, official. But mm-hmm. like, we knew we were dating. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so we didn't quite, that wasn't a factor. Okay. For two years. All right. Yeah, we just knew we wanted to get married later in the year, but not November also because the prices in terms of honeymoon and everything is just really hiked during that period. So we were left to September. Yeah. yeah, so that's how we came up with September 4th. So when we picked the date, we kind of, that was kind of like in the back of our minds or like on in the front of our, but it was just us two, like we didn't go announcing actually this is when we're getting married yeah. because 
that's the time we were still like getting to know each other, relating, building a relationship. But now, um, in in church, that time it was Ethan's church, um, because now I had to join his church because my desire was that when we get married, we are going to the same church and submitting to the same authority. So I moved into the church in 2019 still. Like yeah. we were still dating. Yeah. I was still on and off. My old church, my new church. Yeah, but in the church, they, I mean now in our church, we have this thing where if you're dating, you have a parent couple who basically like walk through. They're usually married. Isn't that the parent couple? Yeah. Yeah. So the parent couple is married and then they're just, they're not policing you. They're just working with you because yeah. you can like, you can find yourself like, okay, I'm in a relationship. How does this go from here? So... For me, that was very important. Like, it's one of those things I didn't know I needed mm-hmm. until now. We were given a parent couple, who ended up being our best couple. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a conversation to get into detail. Yeah. Of car. Of, of yeah. cars. Of cars. Of cars. Yeah, but um, so I just want to say thank you very much, Soila and Katis. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> For okay. accepting us just the way we were, mm-hmm. young and naive. Oh my God! And you put up with us. <laughs> Here we are. And and I think for me also the beauty is that the the like it doesn't end there. Like yeah. you don't get married and then now you teach everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like it's a continuous journey because like again we said marriage is like another journey altogether. So. But I want to know mm-hmm. how was it for you. Um, how was it for you knowing that you're getting married, like you were planning to get married? Yeah. And if you were to compare right now and then what you are feeling, how would you, how would you put it? Mm-hmm. Like where was so, your mind at that time, and what's the reality right now? Like yeah. Emotionally and stuff? Yeah. So of course, first it was exciting, and then it was for me. It looked far. Like so, I it which wasn't is the lie. yeah, which is the lie. It looks like so far, yani bali mali kabisa. So I wasn't really like into the details of ati, you know, like what is it to be married, what is it to be a wife, mm-hmm. and all of that. But I was definitely excited, and then of course every girl has this Pinterest dream that you want. Of course, like my wedding was our wedding was like my dream. Like I I loved our wedding, mm-hmm. but when you get into like when the rubber meets the road then you realize that there are some things that you fancy that are not even necessary because for me i really wanted a grand wedding like my wedding actually had fewer people than my graduation party yeah imagine so because for me i'm very big on imagine (laughs) for me i'm very big on like celebration so for my graduation we went all out and everything so um that for me was was the idea of like a good wedding like a grand the grander the grander i mean more people the better and then now later i was just like it's not really necessary my budget was like what hey it was almost 1.6 it was close to 2 million yeah yeah Woo, yeah that was <laughs> our budget yeah so um yeah that was me i think i really felt that was some sort of security because i like there's that assurance especially when the man comes out and tells you we are doing this you know like so you know like we are here to stay for me when we when we decided we were going to get married Mm -hmm. um there's that there's a certain kind of manpower that overcomes you a a very such a i want to say a facade manpower you feel like I'm the man, mm-hmm. you know, there's something that just comes over you that mm-hmm. you feel like now I'm yeah. going to do the right thing, which is a good thing, which yeah. is a good thing because yeah. it means you're intentional about it. Mm-hmm. The problem about that, you, mm-hmm. it, one of the things that I've learned, the biggest lesson that I've learned in this journey of ours mm-hmm. is how it's not about how you feel. Oh, yeah. Your choice is your bound. Like, your, the choices you make are the ones which bind you, not the way you feel. Mm, because if you go by the way true. you feel, believe you me, this this journey is going to be a, a rough one for you. Here's some, one of the things that my pastor did for me. Um, he made me understand that being ready for marriage was not about getting to a certain point. It was about making a choice 
to become a certain type of man, a better person. Yeah. It was not okay. about I need to how much be money rich. is in your account. I need to what are you doing with your life? Yeah, I need to be <laughs> knowing the value. I need to be praying yeah. every day for an, for at least two hours, you know. Of course, which these things that you know also that's a very green line because mm. And I it's, mean, you see the thing is those things are not things no. that you shouldn't do. Exactly. They're just exactly. not determiners of exactly. you being ready for exactly. marriage. Yeah, I you agree. get mm. It's about where your heart is at. Yeah. And it's and it's the thing I actually like about being a Christian. That being a Christian it doesn't mean that every single day you say the right thing, do the right thing and mm. be the right person. Mm-hmm. No, it's about having the right mindset to be able to know even when you have wronged, to humble yourself enough to say I have wronged and I want to learn yeah. how to do better. So in the same way, when you're planning to get married, you are still the same man. It's just you've made a decision that I want to learn yeah. to know how to be a better man in yeah. order to know how to take care of another person, inclusive of myself. Because getting married is not just about taking about the other person. You really need to know how to take about yourself yeah. and take care of yourself. Mm, I like that. So, can we talk about the elephant in the room? How do you know the one? How do you know the one? If you know, you know. Okay, for me, um, here's a weird thing. Uh, and it's, this is movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I remember saying to myself, uh, that was the time when I was working at Two Rivers, before we started dating. I say, even before I met you, I was like, even when I was still talking to those other chicks, I was like, yeah. I believe that when I meet that chick, one of the first day I'll see her, things will slow down. Mm. Like, you know the way in movies, when, that, when, when you see that chick and then she's like... And then everyone else is at statue. No, everyone is moving. Oh, but, but slowly. But it's just air, hey, everyone is moving slowly. And then your eyes are just on her, just like... <laughs> Movie you know, movie. like, and yeah. can I be honest? That happened to me. <laughs> I know people will say how, whatever, but I don't know. Yeah. It happened because the first time we met, we had been talking with McKenna online for a while, mm. but when we met for our first date, I was just like, in she couldn't. It wasn't on my face, yeah. but my inner person was just like. And then she was glittering. So everything was just now, you know the way it slows down and then the person in focus. Okay, there's wind, there's, yeah, there's there's wind like and there's specific lighting just on that person. So for me, that was the kiss. Okay, there's no wind. Yeah, of and course. You yeah. didn't me. <laughs> no, that didn't happen for me. Yeah. But I in my mind I was just like So yeah. that that was not when I knew you that you were the one, but that was something, something I thought that would happen. Happened. That yeah. yeah. But how do you know you're the one? I don't know. Did you have like a thing? Okay, I don't know if you guys have this, but mm. do you have like he needs to be this, he needs to be this, he needs to be this? She, I mean she needs. To okay, be. she. I was speaking for myself. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe I can answer. So for me, earlier in my relationships, I didn't have told that can answer. Because, <laughs> like, none of my exes are at he, all of them are tall, or all of them are like that. So. But, um, I used to be like, I want, of course, I want someone who's handsome because of the kids mostly, but also because I want to have a cute face to look at, you know, from time to time. And then also, I, now for me, at that point, I think I'd gotten to the place where I was like, these other things. All boil down to if this person has a good has a relationship with God, yeah. and for me now those That's things under under CG at he needs to be caring, he needs to what, like all of those things for me fell under. If you have a relationship with God, and then God, you know God is love, and God is the only one who will teach you how to love Him. So that for me was the main and how i knew is not by asking a tea so how is the relationship with god or how do you go to church mm-hmm. do you pray how many times do you pray for me it was 
in the conversations and for me the thing that attracted me most to Ethan actually was the conversations that we had even that first day when we met I was like I really need to hang out with him again because we had very like our conversations were very I don't even know but like there was something about our conversations and that for me like really struck me like yeah so through through relating and I think that's the importance of now do you call that courting where ni kama mja date but ni kama mja juana but i think that you know that period ya kujuana that's where now you get to to juana to discern like things like how is this guy with god or how whatever it is for you now i'm not saying now at that's the manual at now that's what you should be looking at but mm-hmm. at least for me that was what it was yeah. yeah for me i remember of course for me even with the how I even got to disqualify that other for was relationship with God um and just the knowing get I think one of the things that I decided I would do is I'll be intentional in knowing people yeah like I would just spend time with them even if yeah. they are not at the best people mm-hmm. I'll just get to know them be their friends and mm-hmm. what not and just get to know them so um I didn't Makena of course to be honest Makena is my perfect the one quote and quote like I wanted a girl who was light skinned who was shorter than me and pretty cuz I got to tell you this girl though <laughs> anyway so all right so as I was saying um uh, Makena had checked the, those boxes for me um but we both even by the first time by the time we met for our first date uh we both and I'm, I know I'm speaking for both of us because it's a conversation we've had we didn't know or didn't say that we want to date each other yeah. even to ourselves we didn't say it we just thought this was a really dope person to hang with and we wanted to spend and it's funny when you think about it we had found interest in one another but we just didn't want to accept it but yeah that's kind of what happened but how does meeting the one look like mm. honestly i don't know if there's a look like Yeah, there's really no. no guide because even when you listen to how people met, like how diverse the stories are, yeah. it's just one example that there's no particular at this is how it goes and then after this this is how it goes. So, I think for me the biggest thing that I usually tell people who are single mm-hmm. when they ask me at how did you know the one? First, relieve yourself the pressure. to to be thinking yeah. is it this one is mm. it this one like may remember just something yeah. pasi told me and i don't remember the exact words but he told me just for like involve yourself in like work and your relationship yeah. because, like fanya tu mambo yako alafu atakuja and you know atakuja doesn't mean like oh you'll fall down and then they pick you up and then dream in like all of those things movies like to us are just a mess but i think Yeah. Yeah, and I, I agree with that because it's you just be in yourself. Take yeah. care of yourself and someone and I've had this so many times. Mm-hmm. Uh they've given this uh example a lot of times that be the person that you want the person that you want that the person you want to be with mm. looks like for lack of a better word. Like for example, mm-hmm. if I want my woman to be this type of person be that type of person be kind be all those mm-hmm. characters that you're mm-hmm. looking for mm-hmm. be so that by the time that person is coming they're meeting a a of person course. who knows themselves who is working on themselves and, and I believe that's what we were both doing yeah. even unknowingly mm-hmm. that we were both in the stage of okay let's get to know ourselves let's get to spend time with ourselves mm-hmm. and just We don't need any pressure. If I'm going to meet someone, let's hang out. Let's talk. What's good? How you doing? Yeah, Been good? Yeah. You know stuff like that. But if you don't I I think the best advice I can always give with the one is just work on yourself. I'm trying yeah. to get a deeper way, yeah, a better but, clearer way to say that. Yeah, but, but just, just work on yourself. Be intentional in spending time with yourself. um be also uh, another thing i know i'll say mm-hmm. interact with people yes because that's how you will meet and people. not in the in the place of oh i 
could find the one here, I could find the one there. No, actually literally Just get me. to know people. Meet people who bore you about something and know that they bore you about something so that you have an opinion about what bores you. You know, because at the end of the day, you do want when the one comes. You're like, oh, by the way, I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. just like, um, in- interact with people. Mm-hmm. Um, be yourself. Spend time with yourself um, by finding out what are the things you like, what are the things you don't like. And some of these things sometimes will involve you being around other people, fellowship with other people. Yeah. But, so, how do we answer that question about how do you know that one? There is no... There's signage. no structure. Yeah, there's no signage. No one comes with a with a letter from the doctor that <laughs> hey. you have a prescription. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or those lines for I saw you in my dreams. Yeah. And you are the one. A few it people could be. a few people yes. get the prophetic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. 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 So, so let's like, not be clearly. Yeah, like every yeah. like it's just distinguished. But don't put your, put pressure on yourself to yeah. have a similar experience experience to yeah. someone else. Yeah. Just walk your journey, get to know yourself. Um, we really have a lot to say. Yeah, uh, we do, right? Because yeah. this video we've been recording for I think an hour plus. Yeah. yeah. And we wanted it to be not so long because it's so an that intro. You, yeah. And also so that it's not so hard for you to follow through. But um yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah. Um we're looking forward to the next episode. We're actually just about to break it down here between us and then we'll bring it to you guys. So yeah. We're actually taking, for me, this is such a labor of love because I think for me, it's like a ministry. It's yeah. not just putting out a video on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And that's why I, I even pray about it, like to be honest. Yeah. So for me, it's it's really think, special. And to that's me. why for me, I was very reluctant. Yeah, reluctant he wanted us to it. start next yeah. year. And I was like, because oh. I really wanted this to be an experience that we all share. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys can relate yeah. to it. Also, just engage with us in the comment section. Yeah. Ask us questions. Yeah. We'd actually like to know what is it you're curious about. Curious about. What is it you're concerned about? Yeah. What What is it you'd like to what know? What are your worries? Yeah. Mm, what are so, you looking forward to the most? Also, it like, it would actually help us in knowing how to curate the next episodes. But like we said, we don't intend for this video to just be another vlog we're doing yeah Yeah, we that's not our purpose for us this is something a a gift that we're sharing back to the community uh of which we were given some of the things we were taught and some of the things we were some of the things we've gone through that maybe could help you avoid or even know how to make better decisions Mm -hmm. some of these things yeah so we look forward to having you guys on the next episode yeah. um thanks for hanging out with us today if you have not subscribed please make sure you subscribe hit that subscribe button yeah it's on this side or this side this side yeah hit the subscribe button also turn on your notification bell yeah. let me tell you there's half of you who watch my videos but have not subscribed so i would like to hear from you maybe there's something that is missing yeah. and i'm willing to put it out here so mm-hmm. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for hanging out with us what do we say we say quaheri okay wow no, not really <laughs> okay bye guys One of the things that we need to talk about is how we came by uh, this event, baby. Uh huh. Uh huh. How do we?